Hey everybody, this is Bridget Rays and uh, I'm coming to you with a video on how to fix a crumbled compact. Have you ever had that happen to you? You drop that compact on the on the ground, you slips off the table, your cat knocks it off the table, and suddenly you shake it and it's just a big crumbled mess. Well, I posted a photo of my crumbled compact to my Instagram as well as my Facebook page and uh, was really surprised to find out, I actually didn't know this, that you can actually save a crumbled compact eyeshadow, a powder, anything. Um, and people were really great about giving me some tips as well as sending me some videos about how to save it. And I have to be honest, I mean, at the end of the day, do I really care about saving this, this bronzer that cracked? Not really, in fact, I don't even think I paid for it, but there's something so frustrating about when it happened. So I decided that I was gonna check it out. The video that I got was really, really interesting, but I decided to take it a step further, instead of just posting that video, that I was gonna actually try it and take you along for the journey. So let's see if I can save my crumbled compact. Okay, let's see if the, these tips for cleaning up, or rather getting rid of the crumbles from a compact actually work. This is, this is according to the video I watched what you need. You need the back of a knife, a quarter, some rubbing alcohol. Um, this is 91%. I heard that the higher the alcohol content, the faster it will dry. It may be difficult for you to find 91%, um, but again, that just I think that just pertains to drying time. You need a Ziploc bag. Okay. So this is what I was told you're supposed to do. You take your crumbled compact, so there's mine, this is my bronzer that got crushed, you put the compact into the corner of the Ziploc bag. Okay, that's what they, they told me to do. Take the back of your knife and basically you're just going to crush up more, so you're going to make your crumbles even more crumbly. Okay. Oh, I think I forgot some of the tools you're gonna need, but I'll explain them as I go on here. Okay, I think that's crumbly enough. Take your compact gently, 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 gently. We don't wanna, and it's good to place it on the plastic as, as the advice that I got told me. So with the alcohol, I'm very fortunate that I've had some very ill pets. Well, very unfortunate, but here in this case, I'm fortunate because I have this syringe that I filled with alcohol. You don't need a lot of alcohol. You just need enough to get your crumbled mess wet. If you don't have a syringe like this, I'm sure a dropper or a bottle that has perhaps like a squeeze bottle or something, but you wanna, you wanna just, not coming out. There we go. So you want to saturate. And... I feel like I might need some more. Let's see. Got a whole big bottle, so I might as well might as well might as well use it. I'm sucking up some more alcohol. Normally, when I suck up alcohol, it's a Friday night, not in the middle of the day here. But all right. La, 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 la. Okay, I maybe I put too much, but see, this is why I'm testing this out. Now, what you do next is you take a white cotton cloth. Don't tell my husband this is one of his handkerchiefs. You could use like a ripped up t-shirt or something. And you take your quarter, la. put it in the cotton, like so. So this is gonna be what you press. And then you put some of the alcohol. Now I sterilized the the quarter because how disgusting would it be to press a dirty quarter into your eyeshadow or your powder or your bronzer or whatever it is that you're doing here. And then what you do, I was told, is you really 
press firmly. You can see they make it look so easy. Oh, look at that design. This is why I wanted to do it myself and see, is it really that easy? Like, does this really work or is this some video that, you know, looks like it works and then you try it? This is why I don't do anything DIY. Normally it just doesn't come out as good as it looks. But this might work. It looks like, actually, I have to tell you. I mean, it's not the cleanest looking thing in the world, but it beats the crumbles that, that I had. So we're pressed a bit more. It's not, it's not the most attractive thing in the world, but if it can keep it from crumbling and it saves this. So after, after you've pressed it, you're supposed to now let it dry for about an hour. Again, the higher the alcohol content, the quicker it will dry. I'm gonna check back in a little while. See if this actually worked or not. Okay, the results are in. It's not quite an hour, um, although I have to tell you, it's not been that long, and it looks like it's fixed. It, it doesn't, not falling out. It's still a little damp. Good look, I'm, I'm filming using my iPad. Isn't that funny? It looks like it's fixed. It looks like the advice I got worked. I have my bronzer back. It's all in one piece, no more crumbles, and it's still usable. Awesome tip, really works. Plus there's a pretty quarter design on there, look. All right, everybody, this is Bridget Race. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope you learned how to save your favorite compact, be it blush powder, eyeshadow, bronzer, or anything else that you have stuck in a compact that's pressed.